today's vlog. Um, starting the vlog outside today because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really warm. It's about 23 degrees. Okay, it's not really warm for some parts of the world, but for England it's pretty warm. But I wanted to talk today and start off today's vlog talking about insurance, which is not a dirty word, but certainly not that interesting. Now there's another dirty word. Job. Love Blackadder. Definitely worth watching if you've never watched it before. Lots of very great English humour in there. Now, Last night I had this moment of lucidity, 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 where I suddenly thought, hang on, it's the end of May and I've not had my instrument insurance renewals through yet. Normally I insure my instruments through a specialised uh, musical instrument insurance policy through the Musicians Union and it's always worked great. It's been really useful when my Mark VI fell over, as in this episode, I was able to get the repairs covered by the insurance when I spilt um, juice all over, well it was PIMS, uh, all over my uh, MacBook years ago. Uh, it covered because I had the MacBook on the insurance uh, policy because I use it for my iwi. Uh, it covered that, replaced that like for like. Um, they've always been very very good to deal with, it's well worth having. But then I realised I'd had no insurance for the past year which really made me quite worried and quite panicked uh, because I hadn't, for some reason I'd forgotten to renew last year and it hadn't gone through. Now my insurance are kind of covered under a household policy, but they're nowhere near covered that I get with this coverage, which is worldwide coverage. The number of times I have been on the phone to insurance companies, like when I'm at an airport and they suddenly say, you're not taking that saxophone, you know, that priceless Selma balanced action, you're not taking that on the plane. Phone the insurance company, is it covered if it gets screwed up in the plane? Yes, yes, many times that's happened. That's another time for another vlog where I've never actually had to check my saxophone in yet. Admittedly, I don't fly anywhere near like I used to when we lived in Northern Ireland, but still, it's been threatened a number of times, and I'll talk about that in another vlog another day, how you can cheat the system and just get on board an aircraft with your instrument. But, what I'm trying to say is, and this is not a paid product endorsement at all, it's worth investigating getting specialised instrument insurance if you've got a very expensive saxophone. I'd say if you've got anything that's worth over, what, three, four thousand pounds, that's about five thousand dollars, definitely worth getting hold of something because it's going to make a huge difference. As you can see, it's school half term. Now, all the usual caveats are included here. I am not an insurance salesman. I am not offering financial advice, all that, this, that, the other. I'm just saying that it's worth investigating, especially, I would think it's absolutely essential. I'm so cross with myself and feel so fortunate that nothing's happened in the last year, that if you are going out getting paid gigs, you need to get specialised musicians insurance. I know if you're in the UK, Allianz do one, um, but there are others obviously as well. But wherever you are, I'd seriously investigate it. You know, for, what was it, 200 pound, just under that, for a whole year, I get, in excess of £25,000 worth of gear, fully insured, no matter where I am in the world. It will also insure things like my piano, uh, which I hadn't done in previous years. You know, when you think about that, piano is worth about 12 grand, the house burns down, but it's not covered on the normal policy. Anyway, there used to be a slide here. It's now gone. But in order to save my lawnmower, I need to dig up these big poles. <laughs> This really gets my go. I put this paddling pool stroke swimming pool away very carefully over the winter in the shed. I've got it out and it's punctured. I mean, how? That was like 50 pounds last year, that. Oh well, I'm gonna have to look at getting another one or just start playing smooth jazz and maybe I'll have a massive swimming pool in my garden, who knows? Anyway, 
uh, onto some practice. <laughs> First day of the Cricket World Cup today. I know that most of you watching this, well a good deal of you watching this, have no idea what cricket is. Uh, if you're in the States it's like baseball but a bit more refined. It's and taken, what a catch! That's a stunning catch! Sensational catch, he's celebrating! It's happening, it's happening for Bermuda. He sets off now, he's on his way! The Earth Shore Quarter Kites! The World Cup uh, starts, I think nine nations all playing each other, so uh, if you are from one of the nations that do play cricket, uh, who are you rooting for, who do you think is going to win? I'd like to think England, but they haven't started too well against South Africa. It's quite a well, well poised game, so we'll see what happens. But, as I've promised for a few weeks now, it's time for a Q&A. <laughs> Never quite sure whether that Q&A intro works or not, but we'll put it in for now and we'll see what happens. I hope it doesn't take too long and cause too many people to click away. Uh, very quickly, starting with Rob Stevens, he says, uh, I'm used to playing over a simple 145 blues. This is for the hashtag DF Blues Challenge. I've heard two so far that, you know, let's hear some more. Maybe I'm missing them, make sure I've tagged them. Um, but we'll give it a try. Go for it, Rob. You know, definitely playing over a mind blues. If you're not sure, there's a great lesson on the Cambridge Saxophone website called What Bleeding Gums Murphy taught me about playing the blues. Um, it's all about kind of using the chord changes within the blues which really helps you as I mentioned in the previous vlog talking about the DF Police Challenge about what to do so just get them sent in guys let's hear some minor blues and check out the playlist they're all below uh, where it says minor blues stuff below there's a playlist there for Spotify and for Apple Music uh, Landis Maitland Whitelaw wow that's a name uh, he said it'd be nice to compare it with the Cannonball Big Bell series yes and no my reviews remember I said this a lot I'm only reviewing the gear I've got in front of me if I get the chance to do a comparison vlog I'll do one but hey guys from Cannonball if you're watching you want to send me some saxophones to review you're very very welcome to get in touch let's do it uh, Philippe Franscalo says cool don't stop making videos for us. I'm not going to stop making YouTube videos don't be worried about that what my Patreon does is allow me to give some more value added content it's for the serious people it's for the people who you know want to support what I'm doing seriously for just two dollars a month but you know it, I add the content I don't put it onto YouTube it means it doesn't get the views that it could get I realized that but that's another vlog in itself exposure is one of the biggest lies in the music business it's great to give you guys a little taster but really if I'm really spending a lot of money by employing the musicians to do that session YouTube isn't the place where I can see that money ever coming back again so please do head over to patreon just go to patreon now just have a little sneaky look 
go on, I'll wait while you go and click on Patreon. Uh, Thomas Cooper says, Dan, thanks for the key leaves that arrived today. That was in the key leaves giveaway vlog. Thank you to all of those of you who entered that competition. Uh, thank you to Rulon at key leaves for providing uh, both some for myself to review, uh, which I have on my tenor now and on my alto and the little thing on the soprano. And also for those of you uh, supplying those that I could give away. If, um, giveaways are great you know spread the word but definitely i can highly recommend those key leaves so uh, thank you thomas i hope you enjoy them uh, and uh, jacob says uh i love the godfather theme can i find it anywhere um i could it's just a remix i recorded i suppose i could stick it onto soundcloud if enough of you say stick it on soundcloud down i might do basimi says i'm getting lost are you playing chords or scales here on the unlock the melodic minor one um let me just throw a read on let me just explain it very very quickly playing on this sofa isn't the easiest when i was doing that practice before for you lot um I kept forgetting my lines because I was so worried about falling off. Is you playing up the C major, the C major seven chord, and then down the scale to the third, and then you're playing a one three five seven off the D in the key of C major, so D F A C. And do that on the minor. You're just changing one note, just changing the E flat. You could do it off the harmonic minor by changing the third and the sixth, etc., etc. If you want to know more about that, I'm thinking the Kickstarter didn't work for the practice book. I still want to do the practice book. I'm thinking of other ways to present it, other ways we can get it done. So I definitely want to do a practice book, but I'm thinking of launching two eBooks, one with all my long tone exercises in, and the second one with some exercises like that. If enough of you think you know, you're interested, comment below, and I'll seriously think about putting some time in over the summer to produce them, because I want them to look good for you. I hate books that are not well thought out. Um, because, you know, I just think, you know, if you're going to spend money, if I'm going to spend money on things, I want them to look really, really good. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that proved informative about the insurance. I've certainly learned a lesson to make sure it's always on auto renewal and not relying on things because uh, if something happened to this I'd be really really pretty annoyed don't forget to check out my last vlog here this is what I was up to uh, this time two years ago hit that subscribe button and uh, I will see you really really soon thanks for watching bye bye